Yo, what's good? It's your boy Tapso back again with another video, and today I got flu, so my energy will be a little bit down. But I hope you cope. Today we're going to be making sound design, you know, because I was just making another kit. I just said, uh, let me show my bros, you know, the soul gang, you know, how kicks and snares are made. But today we're going to focus on kicks. I'll teach you how to make kicks, then I'll continue with the 808s, claps, and stuff. So if it happens that you're a music producer and you want to get your beat making skills to another level, start now by hitting that like, subscribe, and without wasting any time, Let's hop in away. Now with FL Studio, I'm going to be showing you how to make your drum kits out of stock plugins, you know. We'll be using Citrus. We won't be diving into all this ish, you know, but we'll just tackle the most important points. When you start making the kick, just go to presets, default. You'll get a sine wave, this wave like this. It sounds like this. No simple. I'm in the volume. Then you go to envelope, click this button to enable it. Now the sine wave will follow this shape like this. It gradually grows, you know. But when I do this, you can hear it's a fast attack. I'll delete this point, then take this, just like this. Something like that. A kick is volume that goes like boop, boop, and the pitch band, you know, it bends down like boop, boop. Let me show you. For now, we got the volume envelope like, you know, boop. Now we gotta go to pitch, click pitch, enable the pitch envelope, this is a pitch envelope, bring it back, bring it down like that. You can hear now, it's like a kick, let me switch it off, and the pitch on. Now I'll export this sound, shift E to open Edison, then record. I recorded my kick in different notes so that I can have freedom of choice, you know. So yeah, let's choose one kick. I'll choose this one. Now we have this. Now let's process it. Grab it like this, put it on a... Put it in here, put it on a mixer channel, like that. I right, cool, let's add some EQ. I'll cut a bit of the lows, like that. And I'll cut the highs. Yeah, sound like that. I right, cool. Now add a compressor. You know, the compressor. Then I take this to zero point. You know, this number like all the way down. Then increase the threshold. Increase the attack. Increase the gain. Yeah, that's fine. Let's record that in. I right, cool. Now we got this. It's coming good. Then I will take it here once again, you know, put it in a mixer again, control L, raise it up in the pre-computed effects like this. Listen to that kick. This is a real kick, you know, it's a man. <laughs> okay. Now, as you know, we put soft clipper on our drum. So I'll put it on my kick. Ooh, now it's knocking, but I don't want it to knock too hard. You know, I want to be gentle. Yeah, sound like that can work. All I gotta do is test some distortion, pretty fast distortion. I like that effect, but I will decrease it a bit. Decrease the threshold. Listen, whoa, like, listen to that, bro. Hey, that's fire. Listen to that. Record it. Just like that, I think we got our kick. All I do is click this button like this. Boom. You know, take it, put it in here. I've opened up a beat to test it. Cause if you are sound designing, you may like the sound, but when you put it in a beat, it sounds like, you know? So yeah, let's check it so that it won't sound like when we put it in a drum kit. Let's do it. You can hear that the kick is soft, you know, but when you listen by yourself, it's hard. So let's raise it up like this. Hey! That's fire! Hey! 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 Hey. Yo, 
Yeah, this is our new kick. You know, I'll edit on my. Tr Let me edit right now. When you edit, you just right click, save it as. I'm just starting a new drum kit. I don't know what to call it. So if you have a cool, cool name or dope name, not a corny one like Bridget on the lines of Judah with the lion on his shoulder. I don't know, but yeah, I want a simple and catchy name, you know, so yeah. When you save it, you go to kicks. Your kicks, you know, I already have one. I'll say TX kick two, you know. But when I'm done with my drum kits, you know, I name my kicks. I don't like it to be kick one, kick two. I want to give them names. These are my babies, you know. Let me save it. Boom. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial. If you enjoy my content, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Hope you keep up with the support. If you want this kind of content, comment down below. I'll make it happen. So yeah, there's no beat to play. So it's peace.